Well, I haven't made a video in a long time, so I figured I'd do a uh, 2019 ammo update. There's um, all my 17 HMR. It's marked up there. Uh, I know I at least got uh, at least 200 of these little bastards. And a couple of spent brass casings. Uh, 9 millimeter. I got a fairly decent amount of 9 millimeter. I need to get more. I need to get more 22 LR. I need to get a shitload more of that. And <coughs> 7.62 by 39 is full. I've got another can in the house. And then I've got another can over at a friend's house. Just like this, full. And then my uh, 5.56 by 4.5, which is just commonly known as 5.56. This is just about full. Um, quite a few in here. And most people like to see that. Like to see you know, the fact that you going through the can looking at stuff you know see that you know there ain't no cardboard and i didn't set nothing in the bottom to make it all full trust me that's full like my bank account will tell you so <laughs> um, but i got my 3030s here um i've got like 150 in there i think i think i have 150 if not it's fairly close and if I don't have 150 in here, that means that I've got, I have all the components to reload for them. So I, I'm not too big on keeping this stocked up because I have everything to reload, like a couple hundred at, at one time if need be. So, and then here's this. This is my 45 ACP for 1911. Uh, I don't keep my Thompson here at the house anymore. But yeah, I've got... Oh, I want to say I've got... 200? I want to say 200, or fairly close to... 250, 260. Roughly. I'd have to count each and every single one of them, and that'd just be a pain in the ass. And then all these, these are double up buck shots. Some of them are the uh, the quote unquote, you know, marketed military grade stuff. I don't buy into that. The whole, you know, anybody who's ever been in the military will tell you that just because it's military grade doesn't mean it's the greatest. <laughs> um, this is nine pellet double up buck. You know, it's, I probably got 80 of them in there. Because right here is 200, two and three quarters, same diameter, same everything. Because right here is 200, and that's not as full as this. So I'm going to say about 80, about 80 in there. This is my 300 blackout. I just recently put together a rifle in 300 blackouts, so I don't have as much ammo for it. See, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only have 80, 80 bullets, 80 pieces of ammo for my 300 blackout. I don't use it that much. I just, I like 300 blackout. It's freaking awesome. And then uh, here's all my 40 that I have. I need to get a sh an overwhelming shitload load more. <sighs> Because right now, this is my only carry gun. It's a Glock 22 Gen 4 and 40 cal. I don't, I don't carry any of my other guns. And then moving on, this is, is to my 8mm Mauser. I don't think I've shown it in any of my videos. I had another YouTube channel that when I posted it, it got up to like... 20 or 30,000 views just on that one gun. I mean, it's pretty pretty hard to find. And when you do find them, I mean, it's the only 8mm Mauser that I know of that literally has a 29-inch barrel on it. Like, it, it's freaking awesome. But it's 
chambered in 8x57. The JS means it's basically you can use the, the military spec 8mm and you can also use this ammo in the civilian version. Because I guess there's two different diameters for the bullets. Like it, it, it's, it gets really complicated when... Because this is more of like a, a European cartridge. This is a German 8mm. I've used this to take big game with it. I didn't use the uh, full metal jackets. But when I went out hunting hogs, I mean, I kid you not, that's the fastest I've ever seen a hog freaking drop before. And I've seen him shot with, seen him shot with all kinds of real heavy, real big bullets. I shot one with one of these uh, soft points. It's a Remington brand soft point down here. Hit him square right through the freaking shoulder. Just bam. Freaking rolled him, dropped him. He was done. And then here's this. This is full of. It's pretty much worn off. This is. Uh, can't really tell. That's an eight. It's an eight shot. This is full of eight and seven shot. I think I have it written on here. Yep, seven and a half and eight shot. I do an overwhelming amount of skeet shooting. Like I do a lot of it. Um, I uh, I've got a couple more. Uh, those twenty dollar bulk boxes that you can buy for like a, it's a hundred for like twenty bucks. It makes more sense to to do that as opposed to anything else. You know, to buy them buy it in bulk. I ideally I like to buy in bulk, but like the twenty twos, I always buy them uh, them uh, Remington brand. I don't like to mix ammo when I when I get a can like um, like the nine millimeters over here I when I first started collecting ammo like the reason why I did it like some of these some of these do, 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 I can't really see that good through my camera like some of these will be like Winchester white box and some of them will be like uh, PMC and and all that and the reason why I quit doing that and started designating ammo to a can, a specific brand, a specific type, a specific weight to a can, some people will think that, you know, I'm getting too into it, but I'm going to explain myself. I ran into a problem when I started reloading, and I'm going to find one right here. Okay, this is a Winchester. Uh, focus come on focus it's a Winchester brand 45 auto all right 45 ACP I know I went through here and I did a pretty decent job of getting rid of them all. some of these don't have large pistol primers in them some of these have small pistol primers and that's why, oh, like right here, I, no, yep, perfect example, perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect example, damn it, okay, shit, where'd it go, wait a minute, what's that, that's another Winchester, damn it, somewhere in here, I'm gonna find, a small pistol primer version but anyway I don't want to bore anybody make it boring for anybody watching this video but two different primers I don't think that this I think they're both large pistol primers I really do to the to my eye and even looking at it through the camera they're they both look like large pistol primers but that's why I started doing that because companies for whatever reason were deciding that 
you know, they're going to uh, do all this, and, you know, I thought that, hey, you know, I'm not going to, you know, screw up my reloading process and get stuff mixed up and, and all that. It's just like <clears throat> when I go to reload for my 30-30, large rifle primers, you know, if if uh, Winchester Winchester ever started making it's Winchester brand come on focus it's a Winchester brand 3030 if Winchester ever started making one with a smaller primer I'll put it in a different can you know to me doing it like that makes more sense because it's easier to sort your brass now the steel case stuff I don't care for I will I don't really give a give a crap about it if because I don't reload it I mean when I go to practice I mean this is that's full it's been sitting outside for a little bit and got one of those construction site magnets and went over picked them all up there's about 800 or so in there there's the uh come on focus it's not gonna focus it's not gonna say anything anyway this is a 556 five, casing this 762 by 39 so I went and I did my practice shot over I think it's like three or four hundred a piece out of each gun Fill that up. <clears throat> Look, my wife's home now. Say hi, Molly. You're on YouTube. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my ammo update. I I did mention. I think I mentioned. I've got a couple more. Uh, those. I've got two more of those hundred round bulk packs. Uh, for this, I'll. I'll drain those before I get into this because this is in a, a can. I can grab this and just go if I need to versus trying to lug around two of those. I would, you know, I got one handle. You know, I can help hold other stuff, you know, if I need to kind of thing. You know, I'm just trying to think outside the box, <laughs> quite literally. Have a good day, y'all.